Good. Torrential Twister is ready to run now. Let's go to the station at the start of the track. Otto and I have double-checked everything. It's all operating safely. You can go for a ride now. Hold on a sec. Before we say goodbye, I have something I'd like to give you all. It's a rock climbing rope. We used it on our adventures to climb mountains and traverse many places. Huh? But doesn't it mean a lot to you? Are you sure you want to give it to us? Yes, of course. Please take it. Thanks to Klee and everyone else's help, we realize that there's a special bond that keeps us together. Even though it's invisible, it's even more important than rope. We can always hold on to it through tough situations. Huh? I helped? <laughs> yes, Klee. You are a big help. Even bigger than that huge thing in the middle of this place? Yes, much bigger. Wow, that's huge! I'm so happy! By the way, have you ever seen anything like the choo-choo cart in the outside world? Nope. Today was the first time I rode anything like it. Is that so? <coughs> I guess I'm not surprised. Seems you won't find Torrential Twister anywhere else. Be sure to come back and ride the choo-choo carts again while you still have the chance. Be sure to come back and visit Torrential Twister again. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, imagine if we could build our tracks all over the world. Traveling would be so much easier. <coughs> Thanks again. I have a feeling we'll get along much better now that we've learned to open up to each other. I suppose some things are simpler than they appear. The real problem all along was actually us.
sort of makes sense? Wait, but if being able to fly makes you a mage, what does that make Kaya, since he's here too? Nothing! Kaya's just the master thief! Don't you remember, Paimon? Hmm. Oh, right! Guess it slipped Paimon's mind. <laughs> Sorry to bother our young mage, but there's something a master thief would like to report. Do you still remember our mission? Uh-oh. I was having so much fun that I almost forgot. We're supposed to be helping Adia look for the missing components. But don't worry. I've already got one. You mean you snatched it when we weren't looking? <laughs> I didn't have to go that far. In fact, the component we were searching for was actually that orange rope. If anything, you could say it came right into our hands at the right time. Let's head back and give it to Adia. Aw, do we really have to go? <sighs> okay. Even though I want to keep playing, I know Adia is really important. That's our wise mage. <sighs> Don't worry. Tonight, you'll be able to see stars in the water and watch fish dance in the sky. Uh, seems Kokomi's out of it after that ride. Her face is completely blank and her lip was trembling while she was speaking. <sighs> Maybe we should have a rest for a while. Uh, huh? I thought I was keeping my composure pretty well. Don't worry, my mind is always spinning. I'm used to this. We should head back to Idea. How about we hold hands, Miss General? Klee will give you energy. Uh -huh. After holding Klee's hand, the stars in the sky and the fish in the water have all disappeared. I must have been seeing things from riding the cart. <sighs> hmm? What are you smiling about, Kokomi? Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> um, <clears throat> nothing. Nothing at all. Fascinating.
Sure. Do you want to come ride, too? <sighs> uh, but maybe you'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'm a little tired now. Hmm. Seems she had a little too much fun, and now she's about to crash. <laughs> I think it's time for a rest. Good idea. I think we can all use some downtime. Thanks for giving me some energy, Klee. Then we'll see you later. It sounds like our young mage enjoyed herself. I'm so happy that she had a good time. So, back to the missing component. Did you bring it? You bet! Kaya said that the missing component was this orange climbing rope. Ah, it just occurred to me that you probably ran into the three brothers while you were in the canyon. If I remember correctly, the two eldest brothers were taking their sickly younger brother on adventures when they ran into a sandstorm and ended up here. They were all arguing with one another when they first arrived, but it wasn't long before they broke down and were huddled together in tears. Oh, they sure must have a lot of energy to keep up their bickering and adventuring every day. I'm a little worried about them, yet quite envious of all that energy. <laughs> you almost sound as if you're reminiscing about old friends, Edia. Yes. I've known them for quite some time, after all. But I seldom go to that area. You can hold on to the rope for now, Traveler. I have no use for it until we have the other components. By the way, Eula and Kale have also returned, but I'm afraid they weren't able to make much headway. They mentioned that they would like to head to the jungle north of here, once you have all rested up. Now that I've told you everything, I'll go rest. Uh, I mean, I'll go and check on the situation in the remaining two areas. Do you need me to accompany you? Oh, uh, no, it's all right. You've already accomplished a lot today. You should rest up. Who would have known I'd find myself in such a mess? Oh, after all that talk with Alice about letting her daughter visit too. <sighs> but just as the general said, if we can restore the domain, then...
fortunate. Come on, let's get moving. We're not frozen in place after all. All is accounted for. Let's move out. Quite the fun. Did you 
rest well? Yep, this is a comfortable place to rest. I guess that's one thing here that's better than the desert. But other than that, there's not much going for this place. Saying things like that isn't going to help, Adia. But it's the truth. The desert is full of terrible memories for me. Being there was like... Yeah, like wading through thick mud. That's a weird way to put it. Hmm. Actually, if you hadn't mentioned it, Paimon would have already forgotten that this domain is in the desert. I know what you mean. The air here isn't at all like the desert. It's very humid. Almost as if we're in the rainforest. It's a very familiar feeling for me. <sighs> Everyone looks well rested. If you're ready, we can start making our way to the jungle north of here. Good luck, everyone! I'll be rooting for ya! Hold on. I said we, didn't I? No need to say goodbye, because you're coming too. Huh? But wait, I I'm, I'm just the mascot! You can't back out this time, Adia. The manager of the fairgrounds is waiting to see you. She said, Adia is the only person who could help. Yes, Kale and I discovered a fairgrounds in the forest. The person in charge of it seems to be a Spotamod scholar. A scholar? But what's she doing there? Researching the forest ley lines? Oh, I wish there were ley lines here that I could ever study. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. I'd better come along then. Fortunate. Oh, finally, someone has arrived. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mimuna. We've brought a deal with us. Thank you, Kale. It's been quite some time since I've seen you, Idia. To be honest, I didn't think you'd actually show up. If anything, I thought you'd be curled up somewhere crying alone. Hey, you shouldn't be saying things.